Hello, hello everyone. This is Tensi with another Diva Transformation. Today I'm going to be using one of my fluid art piece that was created with my blow dryer and I am going to use this as the background for my Diva today. It is on an 18 by 24 canvas but of course if you don't have this part then um, you could either put your Diva on a wreath or um, a picture frame or any other means that you would like. But today I am going to be using one of my fluid art piece and it's also an abstract piece. I do have pictures of it and a video of it so that you can see the entire thing without the diva on it. So these are the things that you're going to need for today's tutorial. You're going to need some fabric, a 3D hat, which this was created during my last tutorial, image of the diva, some glue sticks and a glue gun, a scissors, and bling for the jewelry. So before we get started, I'd like to say if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Please also turn your notification bell on so that you'll know each time I upload a new video. I am so glad that you are part of my channel and I would love for you to stick around so that you can see the end of this tutorial. So the look that I'm aiming for in her outfit today, I want a blouse that it's it's one of those like a, a strapless, but she's going to have some bling that connects the fabric and her her shoulder area to her shoulder area on both sides so it'll be gathered in the middle and then I'm going to have some um some bling that will be attached from the fabric to her shoulder so all I'm going to do right now is to take my glue gun and where I want the fabric, there is where I will glue. So right about here, let's put some, some glue at that, right in this area. So this is where my starting point will be. And then I'm going to keep all of this, like it's going to gather. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue where I want it to be. It's a small little amount. And then I'm also going to do it for the rest of... So I'm going to switch her around so that you can see. Just placing a little bit of glue where I want the fabric. Uh, okay. So that's okay. What I'll do is cover it up some. Because a little bit, you have, I have to be a little bit more careful because you can see the glue on this fabric. So I'm going to have to make a little change with the gathers because I don't want to see any glue mark. You all know how I feel about glue marks. By the way, those who are new to my channel, welcome. All right, so all I'm doing is just putting where I want the pleat to be. And because I made a mistake just a minute ago with the glue, I just want to cover that up at this point. So I'm just going to use a little dab of glue. If I could get a dab of glue. And then I'm going to just fold it over and I will continue just put in a dab of glue don't want the gathers to be too wide but just enough to cover and to have it bunched so all I'm doing now 
and just making sure that it's bunched up and maybe I should have just go ahead and glue this part as well so that it won't keep moving pretty much put the glue where I want it to to be so this is what I have done so far with the diva I am going to cut this white piece so that you don't have to see it. You see her hand and that's about it. So now I'm going to do her earrings and then we'll place her on the canvas and then put her hat. So I decided that I want her earring to be in the shape like this and I probably will have them hanging or dangling. So they'll have like an extra piece so that when I put the hat, you can actually see her, her airing. I think that'll be fine though. Um, we'll see how it works. Let me do the other one. And then we could determine if I want it dangling or not. Like a little elong more elongated. So that it'll be close to her, her blouse, than, than short. So I'm just cutting the shape, kind of mimicking the shape that I had from before. Just get it to be as close as possible, which it doesn't look like it right now. It may have been too small. Yeah. But so we just cut down the bigger one. Kind of give it a little bit more shape. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Just cut this down a bit. To look like the other one. And there we go. We are good. All right. Just making sure they look alike. And then we are ready to put them on. Yeah, this one has to be cut down a little bit more. Yep. This is how I do those jewelry pieces. I do use real real jewelry sometimes, but in this one, I like the bling for this, so I'm using. Okay, so there we have it. I'm gonna just take this covering so that it can sparkle and shine, and then so we're going to be placing her hat now on the diva. I'm going to go ahead and um, glue this part because this is where I want the hat to be. So I'm going to put a generous amount of glue because I want it to stay in place. And then I'm going to just apply some pressure for a little bit so that I can make sure that it sticks and stays where I want it to. And then I'm also going to turn it around the canvas and also hot glue right in this area because I don't want it to go anywhere. So remember, you could put a generous amount and then I will keep something there that will keep it in place because it's hot.
Let's give it a couple second more seconds and then we can take up the hot glue gun and see if it did what it was supposed to. And here we have it. We might need to stick just a little piece more. So I'm just going to hold it just for a few more seconds. Make sure that it really sticks. All right, so let's turn it around and see what's going on. Think it's the, this material for the placemat is a little thicker than the others that I've had in the past. This material is kind of thick. So, I mean, I love it because it's different. Let's see what it looks like with the can, with the diva. We may need to stick it a little bit more, just a little bit more. And I want it to stay like right here so that you could see her eyes. She has, she has one of those, um, like her eyes are saying so much that I don't want to miss that. So here she is. I'm loving the way how it turned out. And so that you can see a little bit more details of my fluid art piece. And that is used for the background of this diva.